everybody welcome back to my channel it's been so stinking long it's been about three four years since i've posted any type of video i'm sorry if you hear something in the background that is the monitor <laughs> anyways um it's been so long it's been a really rough few years for me um but you know we're gonna keep it pushing i'm gonna try to continue to you know post videos again and yeah, show you guys my skills, my makeup skills. Uh, I'm gonna try to post not just glam looks, I'm gonna try to do simple looks, just simple tutorials on certain things, special effects looks, because I really do like love special effects. Um, but yeah. <sighs> okay, yeah, so sorry, I was like, where am I going? Where am I going with this? But two, three days ago, I actually recorded a whole look, right? And I edited the video, was getting ready to export it at all and ended up deleting the whole thing. So here I am, again, doing another look. Hopefully I will be able to post this so y'all can see it. So if it's, if you're watching this, I made it. <laughs> so yeah, um, yeah, let's get on with this look. I hope you guys like the look and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and also give this video a thumbs up. I'm not sure if I said that, but give this video a thumbs up wow alrighty so i'm gonna go in with the dewy coconut setting mist and the dewy glow jelly by ennis free and elf i will be listing the products down below if you guys are interested or wanting to know what products i'm using in this video i use these products for uh, actually a lot all the time because my skin is very dry ever since my second pregnancy don't know what it, what it is, but my skin, my facial area, like, especially my T-bone area, T-bone, T-zone, T-bone, <laughs> T-zone area is very dry, so, yeah, and I'm gonna go in with the NYX <laughs> Tape and Frame Pomade, Brow Pomade, I use that to clean, um, to carve out my eyebrows, fill them in a little bit, and I'm not a big fan of the pomade because pomade in general, it just dries out over time. And yeah, it lasts longer, but it just dries out and it's just not where it's at. I prefer pencils, like the um, rejectable ones, the ones that, you know, you twist. Like Anastasia has one. You can get them. A lot of brands have them if you just look around. I'm going in with the Hydrating Camel Concealer by e.l.f. to clean up my brows and make them crisp. Look at that, look at that line. So crisp. Yes. I haven't changed anything really about the way I do my brows. Honestly. Same method. I mean, yeah, the same method. Okay, so, um, you want to hear my baby in the background? He's playing in the background. But, um, I actually went in with the same, the lighter shade, the shade right here. And I'm gonna, I'm just applying a lot. I'm, I'm applying some more because it wasn't as, like, wasn't at the shade that I wanted it. So the thing with, um, eyeshadows is you can, um, can you see him in the background? Sorry. I'm trying to, oop! With eyeshadows, they're buildable, so if you if it's not the shade that you want, you can always add more to make it more pigmented, so that is what I'm doing right now. But then after that, we're going to go in with this shade right into the crease. Alrighty, so I'm gonna, going to keep building up the product into my crease. I like to pat it in and then blend, so I can get the, perf like, the preferred amount of pigment. So, so to speak, yeah. I'm gonna go in with the Avani Morphe palette. That's and I use the black in that palette. I really like the the black in that palette. It's very pigmented. 
I will give that palette a 10 out of 10. It's really pretty. If you love colors, that's a nice palette to go for. And I'm just adding it to the outer part of my eye, the outer corner of my eye. And like I said, I'm patting it in. Okay, so I'm taking some concealer, any type of concealer you have. Um, I'm taking some concealer and creating a partial or half cut crease. And I'm taking this, it's, there was a really pretty glitter, it's a pressed glitter in the palette I wanted to use. Really pretty. This look was actually a random look, like I honestly came up with this from the back of my head and honestly it came out pretty good honest no, I, I, let me stop saying honestly I keep saying honestly I have, I'm really bad about that I like to repeat words I don't know why I think it's because I'm like low-key stressing myself about trying to make things perfect about the video but don't mind me so I'm using the wet and wild liquid liner and then I went in with the essence lash mascara it was false lash mascara and this foundation by the way it's called it's a good apple um by kvd beauty i love it a little goes a long way and it's very pigmented and very it's very much bu um buildable very full coverage in my opinion And I don't know if you guys know this, but I do look green in this video, like green yellow. It's because the computer was on, so and the light was green. So, yeah, I promise my foundation is not green. So I'm taking that same concealer and I'm just carving out my cheekbones, or just applying, playing under my eyes to brighten them up. You know the typical. Okay, so I was gonna go in with my contour stick, but yet again. I sat down without um, actually having it in my makeup stuff, so I don't know where it's at. So we're just going to go in with the Juvia's Place bronzed, it's the bronze duo palette, bronzer palette. It's just a bronze duo palette. I use the palette, the tan or medium. Which one is this one? This one is tan. And I go in with this shade right here. It's like the perfect bronzer shade, contour shade. Um, yeah. Okay, so I already contoured and applied like bronzer to where I wanted to apply it to. I'm going to show you guys how I do my nose contour in particular. So I'm going to take the shade. Usually I use like a stick, like I said, I use a stick so it's a lot more easier. But when I don't, I do. T this is how I do it. So I take a fluffy brush like this. And I just edge my edge. Line it up. My nose. I know it's a harsh line right now. That's why um, blending is so important. It's very important. So right now it's very harsh contour. Um, we're going to go in and we're going to blend it out. I first start, this is how I personally like to contour my nose, like how I blend out my contour. I first start by going down, um, swiping down the bridge of the nose. So that kind of creates the gradient effect going down the side of the nose. And the other side. with a really good gradient effect and then once I do that I'm going to take the 
front part of like the line, the beginning where the um where it starts. I'm gonna blend that out and smudge it out so it's not such a harsh line. See the difference? I see so many times girls don't do that. I'm like, girl, blend that line. It looks weird. I mean, I don't know if that's the look that they be going they're going for, but it ain't it. It just ain't it. And you can even drag it up to your um brow bone area. Okay, so taking my Puff Puff Pass Translucent Setting Powder, I'm going to go in with my Makeup or Murder Beauty Blender. It is so soft, y'all. Um, she's kind of damp, which is what I'm going for. Um, I'm trying to soak in the powder instead of actually doing like the whole setting situation. So, I'm going to go in with a little bit. Um, I'm also going to carve out my cheekbone some more. My cheekbones are definitely non existent, so I'm gonna go ahead and carve those fabrics out. Alright, so I went ahead and I ended up changing the lashes that I applied. I went in with same brand but just different collection. It was her Halloween collection. The Jandy Cosmetics. I don't know how to say this. I might botch the word. I apologize. They're called Love Pachona. Love Pachona. That's the name of the lashes. And this is what they look like. Really pretty. Really wispy. But yeah. They're still drying now, but I just wanted to show y'all just in case if you were like, oh, those lashes don't look the same. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. But before I do that, I'm gonna get ready and um, get ready to apply. Ooh, my blush. I forgot my blush. Give me one second. Uh, where are they? Where are they? Oh, oh shit. Ooh, sorry. So this is the Kim Chi Chick um blush. It's in a um it's called Thaler brush. It's really pretty blush, really pretty blush, very pigmented blush as well. I'm gonna show you guys what I mean. Literally I dabbed it. Look at that pigment. So what I do is I just apply it to where I want it. I know she's looking very harsh right now. I know, I know. And put a little bit on my cheekbones. Where my cheekbones are on my nose. But I'm gonna just go in and blend her out. But she's really pigmented. It's like $15. I'm gonna exactly her. Oh, it's That's why throughout the video you'll see that I put somewhere on the screen the products I've been using with the pricing. If I can get the pricing in the picture with it. So then you can have an idea of the items that you like in this video of you know the pricing and where you can get them. I can tell you right now majority of the um, items that I've used in this product in this video you can get from Ulta pretty much. So that gives us a really pretty blushy look. Okay. And how cute is this? It's a little rose. Okay. Um now I'm gonna take my continuous setting spray. And 
trick. Ooh. Ah, I'm just trying to get rid of I'm gonna take my heroin palette, the Juvia's Place heroin palette. Ow, what am I doing? The Juvia's Place heroin palette. It's a highlighter. Well, my face is still wet. Even though I already put setting spray on, I am going to press more and I'm going to show you why. So what I do is, I apply some and then I take my beauty blender. As it's still wet, and this just helps me blend everything in and just set everything into place. Alright, so I'm taking the NYX lip pencil in the shade brown and I'm going to use that to outline my lips. And then I go in with the butter gloss in the shade cinnamon roll, which is my favorite color. I was trying to look for that color for so long and I finally found it. I just love the color. It's so, I don't know, it's supposed to be so good, you know. <laughs> Gives me them vibes. So that's pretty much all for this video, for this look. I like how everything came together, honestly, especially last minute thinking. Oh yeah, and I also, sorry, I almost forgot. I also went in with that same black shade from the Avani palette to go under my eyes to smoke out some. Because I feel like my under eyes were very naked, y'all. But yeah, that sums up this look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love this look. I hope you guys love this look. you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial it's very dramatic i kind of struggled a little bit but it was worth it it came out cute anyway so whatever <laughs> so make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up comment down below and also make sure you guys subscribe to my channel help my channel grow i would love to continue to post videos for you guys um if you guys have anything you would like me to post comment down below or even comment on my instagram post whatever just let me know so i will see you guys in the next video i hope you guys have a wonderful day bye y'all